Hello, and we're back with Wikipedia Weekly Network. Me and Albin are going to do some live editing on Wikidata today as well, as we did, I guess it was earlier in the week, or was it? No, it was Sunday last week. So and we yeah. felt yeah, this is going to be, this was fun, and we're going to do it again. And we're also looking forward to see all your comments in, and we're going to try to be lifting them up. So if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. This is going out on Facebook in various groups. We're trying to share it. Feel free to share it in more groups as well so people can find it. And it's going out on the Wikipedia Weekly YouTube channel and I'm also sharing it on some of my private channels. But yeah, feel free to share it more widely. So yes, today we're going to continue uh, editing and do some tricks with some tools, I guess. You got some good ideas, or we were talking a little bit about some graphs on Wikidata, and you became inspired by that. Yeah. Uh, we talked about maps last week. We can mention that. And I was a little bit inspired by that as well. So I'm thinking graphs today are going to do some bar charts based on Wikidata. All right. Do you, do you want to start with that? Uh, I, think, I think we could start with your, I guess right. you have a new item per for today. Yes. So yeah. if you don't know it, I do have like a project for the year. I call it 52 Wikidata Weeks. And it's inspired by these 100 Wikidays, uh, which is uh, Vasia who came up with this project where you write a new article every day for 100 days. and I'm doing now doing it now for week data, but I'm doing it for the entire year. But to do a little bit more of a challenge to myself, uh, because creating a weekly data item is sometimes very easy, I'm trying to do it with a new instance of every week. So it's going to be 52 different instances. So I'm going to have to figure out how the modeling works in various areas. And I'm going to share my screen here to see where we start. So. Uh, last week, uh, our prime minister in Sweden had a speech to the nation, which I thought was quite notable because that's very unusual in Sweden. I cannot remember something like this happening in that sense, like in a, in a time of crisis. So I thought, hey, I, I want to create an item for that speech. So what I started doing was looking, and I'm, oh, I'm going to need to zoom in a little bit here so that you can see this is the right window I'm actually zooming in. And soon we're going to have something that is also readable. One more time. That's, yes, I think this is probably readable. So what I first wanted to see, see was like, what kind of speeches are there already on Wikidata? So I did this search. So this is instance of and of a speech. Uh, can we see the pop-up? Uh, no? There, speech. Uh, so that was the first I did, like seeing a little bit, exploring in the field. And if we scroll down, we can see there's uh, quite a lot of different speeches. So I went in to see like how is one of these modeled. Like it's an instant of speech. You have the location, a title, author. And here's the question. Did he do you think he wrote his own speech? Or is Johnson? Or did he have a speech writer? He, I don't know. He he was a journalist before, perhaps. Yeah. And of course the speaker and full work available. So so we couldn't be able to use all of this, I guess. I found another one, uh, which also made me interesting because this one, the State of the Union Address, which is, uh, as it's uh, uh, every year in the US, uh, the president has a speech uh, addressing the nation. And that had a different kind of instance of. It had a State of the Union Address, which made me want to see and go back to my query. And instead of doing uh, uh, no, 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 no. instance of, I went with uh, 
Um, I'm going to comment this one out just to see like what types of speeches there are. And there were a number of them as well. And I'm not sure if I can find it now because it doesn't have a label in English, but I found here that there is actually a, a subclass of speech. So this is a speech to the nation of the Swedish type. That one already exists. So this is the instance of that I'm going to use today. So I'm going to create a new item, but I'm going to start with this one because this one doesn't have an English label. So I'm going to start my editing here. I'm going to call this just speech to the nation. And this is speech by Swedish prime minister. I'm good with spelling. And perhaps that is capital P and M. So I'm going to polish the Swedish one. We do not want this. Unfortunately, my language skills are quite limited, so I cannot add any more languages now, but that's a good start at least. People are going to be more able to find it. Do you think jurisdiction would be a good property for this one? Or is country enough? I don't think you would need jurisdiction, so to speak. I, he's, he isn't doing anything that will have an effect on law, right? In the speech itself? No, but he's sort I of... I haven't looked at it. No, um, I don't know either, but like he's addressing the nation. So, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure like if it would need it, but would it help people find this item in some kind of searches? I don't know. Ah, let's skip it for now. So maybe we're done with this one and go to the actual meat of this session. Create a new item. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna start with Swedish or yes, because I do have the title and I'm gonna go with the English one later. Oh. Here we go, Swedish S V and just copying this one. From there, and description. I'm going to say it's the speech to the nation during the coronavirus outbreak and create and now we're going to add something in English here. Well, well, I, this is probably not a bug, it's, but it, it feels like a bug that if you click that too early, you, you get a different kind of, so you have to wait until the entire uh, page is loaded before clicking editor. So you can stay on this page and edit it. Uh, jurisdiction, we do have some, uh, only if you have a more precise value, like Ministry of something. All right, yes, so we'll skip it then. Thank you. And here we call it Prime Easter. Yeah, fun. I did not notice and it's quite small there as well. I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit. Right, so there's something more findable and 
let's now, uh, this is an instance of this very speech to the nation. And there are several kinds for different countries, which is interesting. And publish that. And then we're gonna add here. That was the prime minister himself. And I guess this one wouldn't really need a reference because it's like in the definition of the label. It's his speech. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. But for dates and stuff, that would probably be. So this language of work. Yes. Or is it what other language language used? No, that's something else. No, I think it should be language of work. The, yes, the work. Um, yes, so we'll go with Swedish here. This one we can actually add, I guess, this as reference. I guess. Um... And a public. Hmm. Retrieved today. And do you add a published date here? No, not for the no, language. Not for the reference. No. no. Oh, for the reference. Oh, let's go with oh, this. Right. Mm -hmm. This is good enough, I guess could probably be better. But we want to add, a, well, we could add a title as well again, that is the same as the, this. And title of course is gonna prompt us for language. So we'll go for Swedish again here. It seems like my copy thing did something strange. I'm gonna remove that, yes, thank you. And publication date, yes. And this was, when was this? Uh, 22nd of March. I guess we can just copy this. No, some in English. That would work, yes. I'm going to copy all the references later I'm using the tool for that. And then we also had, hmm, let's go back to the Boris Johnson here, see what kind of, so location, that would be interesting. I Do you know the location? This. No. So I watched this no. and I couldn't figure out if it is in the, um, Rosenbad, or if it's in actual in Riksdagen, and I tried to ping him on Twitter, but he didn't bother to answer me. Okay, um, I guess you could do a of something. information. Yes, well, it was interesting because on the on the version that went was on um, the national broadcaster SVT, SVT, uh, it was an ending image of Riksdagen. Uh, that doesn't say that there were actually, because it was obviously an archive photo. But perhaps it was, I don't know. Some people thought that was strange also because he was speaking not as a, a parliamentarian, but as the prime minister. So, yeah. Oh, what else could we do? We could go with, we don't know I the author. we have a duration. Um... Oh, well, yes, but it's the duration of the video, the same as, well, this is the speech, yes. Yeah, exactly, so you yes. need to so, time it somehow. Oh, you mean I would, 
he starts and he ends. So this one is cut. So this is the same duration. So okay. we'll actually use that one. Exactly. That was good. Good, good. The duration is, uh, what's the four, five, 19? Does that work? Mm -hmm. No, because I don't want one unit. So it's going to be 319 seconds. Yes, good. Publish that. And I guess we can use full work available at as well, since we do have the URL here. And here we have test full. We can do the same thing that we did last week. We could also add the copyright status of this and it is in the public domain. This one I actually looked up, asked a, a lawyer. Yes, we, we, uh, this is a very good one. We're gonna, yeah, it is. Uh, mm. uh, Larissa has a very nice, uh, yes, we're gonna add that. We're gonna add the context and I think we're gonna use the cost by property for that. Okay, I think main subject as well. Um, as well, yes. Yeah. Yes. Now let's first go with this uh, determination method. And now I don't remember how it was formatted. Was it the first paragraph? No. Let's go back to my article. Uh, let's check my contributions. I haven't done that much since last time. Yes, here we have the Swedish Copyright Act. That's the one. And I actually uh, looked this up with, yes, uh, with a lawyer, because I was hoping that the actual video itself would be free. And apparently, uh, SVT probably have the copyright for that. So we have to nag them for this. But the text itself, that's, uh, that's public domain. And then we're going to use several things here to go for this. So we're going to go cost as cost. And this is the 19 um, 20, 1920. Yeah. Or 2020. Corona. No. no, no, that's not the one. Uh, I think you. It's the. I want to go with this. I want to go with the Swedish one. Uh, it's oh, over right. fifteen. And it's a bit tricky since they are all named various things. But I used it in this one that I created earlier. So let's go back and see what it actually called. Oh no, that's yes. So I wasn't even close there. This one is interesting because this is going to make it possible later on to see all the things on Wikidata that's, that's been that's caused, caused, by. caused by. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, the main theme is also this. Main or main subject. Is, it, is that the main subject? Yeah. Yes. See, also depicts. I don't think we use the pics in this one, unless there are actually some something depicted in this. But not really. No, I think that would just confuse people later on. Yes, yes. The, the pics one is actually tricky. The semantics of it is... Uh can be discussed many times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. This is starting to get quite... So we only have one reference right now, but I think that reference is actually good enough for most of these. I know what we're going to do. We're going to try what we failed last time. We're going to try to archive this. Yeah. 
So let's grab this again, go to the archive. Uh, it's, it can load in the background. You're gonna see when it stopped turning. Did it. Yes, so here we're gonna go and save the page. Yes, save it. Save the speech to the nation. And we do have a Siko is saying the pandemic started in different countries at different points of time. Yes. So I think that's why it's important to use the one that we're actually. All right, this one worked. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to the first reference and I'm going to add as a, oh, no, not a new one. I'm going to add archive URL. Yes, there we have it. Yes. Mm and publish that, all right. And I think now that I'm quite, unless there's someone in the comments that have any more suggestions for things to add on this, or actually I'm gonna check the, the State of the Union as well, see, and there's a video, would have been, would have been nice. Follows followed by point in time. Oh, this is different, interesting, point in time rather than publication date. How does this one? This has both. What do you think? Should I add both yeah, as well? Yeah, B both actually make sense in this case. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, because it was published, but it was also performed, I guess. 2020, Wish. And what else did we have here? Speaker, copyright license, commons category, no. Identifiers. Hmm. That is interesting. Do you think this might, I th we do have the Aftonbladet and some newspapers. Do you think this has a topic in there? That's a good question. Um, I think we can do a quick search here. If they do have a good search, go to Aftonbladet. Search. Yes, I clicked. There we go. There is something about it. Now the, no, so, oh, but this is interesting. So it is about the coronavirus. So I'm gonna use that one on another thing instead then. Uh, so we're gonna go back. And uh, not COVID-19, but one more step up, coronavirus. This was a, there, I guess, yes. So we can add an external identifier on this one. This is the usual rabbit hole. It is. You, you, you're adding something about a speech and suddenly you're in, in the identifiers. Yes, so it, it jumps around a little bit. Can you see no? So let's try on the, where I, was I dreaming? Or is it the Omni? Yes. So identifier document used by Omni and Aftonbladet. 
now I'm unsure. Is it just like this? I think it is. Okay. Let's try to see how it works. See if, see if it complains. Oh, it does. Oops. Yes. So why? But if, if you say? hover over the yeah. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Let's go to this one. Do they want some sort of slug of some? Or oh, there's something completely different, yes. Oh. But here's the Aftonblad that it, it was this URL. Tag. Yeah. But with coronavirus. I guess it could have changed since they did a Oh, probably. Property? Yes. It isn't uncommon. Do we, if we go back on the step here? Yeah, the see. URL has changed as well. Yeah. S how does a format URL work with this when it has two different? Oh, I think one would need to split the properties into two. Um, I think it's outdated. Because now, totally. because now it shows this one. Would I have to do a... a let's see, I mean, there's a lot of people talking in there in the chat here. Does the speech have a topic? Yes, we already added that. All right, yes. Location of the speech. Yes, we tried to figure that out, but we don't know where it was actually held. Uh, so we it was either in Rosenbad or Riks Riksdagen, but we don't know. And then we have another here. Would you also include translations of the speech? Not in this Wikidata topic, and I'm not sure if there are any. Well, let's um, get back on track and not be derailed by this property. Point in time here. Uh, did I have something else I wanted to to add? No, I was looking at this one. No. I wonder if we should add that it was actually broadcasted in national television. Oh, somehow. So, mm. so would that be published in? Uh, published in, or I guess that could a have publisher. 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 If we would just add. A... Is it, or is it even a broadcaster? Original broadcaster. Original yes. broadcaster. I guess. Yeah. Yep. We have yes. Thank you. And I think I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to reload this one to make it uh, possible to use the, the reference tool. Now it's reordering things as well a little bit. So let's see, where did it go? I, was, I had it here on the Swedish, yes. So I have to copy here. And then let's see, main subject. So we can add it, insert it here. We can insert this one here. Uh, we can insert it here. The duration we can insert here. Point in time as well. Why? What? Why do we have a warning for it? An entity with speaker should also have a statement location. Yes, but I don't know it. Wait, an entity with speaker should also have a statement participant. Why? Uh, 
That's interesting. Does it say in the... So no discussion about this. That's very strange. Can, is there something in the proposal discussion perhaps? Mm -hmm. So this is very interesting. So here it wasn't. So, so this was added post facto. Uh, let me see. Actually, is I'm gonna put this one up here. What do you think about this one? I have to look it up. You know, the constraints sound as if it three is about someone who has a speech at the location and with a live audience. Yes, so I guess this one is uh, the rare occasion where there's, there is a speech at the location, but there is no audience in front of him. They are all in front of the, the screen. So we're just going to ignore that one. But we will insert the reference because it actually says he spoke. Has cost doesn't really say that there. That one won't need it, that one won't need it. All right. So now I'm just gonna try to find a source for that it was actually aired on Swedish television. That should be pretty easy. I even had it in my short links here because I that's where I the first time. So we'll go back here and add that as a source for the broadcaster. Add reference, reference URL. And retrieved. One will add automatically, and we're going to try to go to the Wayback Machine and save that one as an archive URL so that we have it saved for everyone else if it would disappear. Someone is adding a diff here. Do we have edit conflicts? So this one is saved. I'm going to copy this before going back and see what the comments are. Archive URL is that and publish. So now I think I'm done. We're just going to see here what my here is saying. Special diff. Can I copy? No. So let's see if I can do it. What is the number? Eight eight five eight four three three. Where will this take us? Ah, yes. So someone added it, and I think this is one of the weak things with Wikidata is that it's hard to add. Uh, edit comment, an edit comment. It is, it is. Um, yeah. Um, well, I think I'm going to close this one. And this is my final speech to the nation.
from Prime Minister Stefan Levin last Sunday. It's uh, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I yeah. guess. And tomorrow you if have you a want to do. Uh, wh what? Tomorrow is there not your speech to the nation, but from our king. Oh, oh, all right. I did not know that. All right. It would also be if 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 this was an even more extended session, uh, we could copy the text to weaker source. Uh, but I guess that's going to be something I'm going to do in the week. All right. That was my part of the editing, I guess. So I'm going to stop sharing here and hand it over to you. Yay. So Yay, glaciers. For those of you, uh, yeah, for those of you who followed us last week, I was working on glaciers. I was doing a bit of a map, Wikidata powered map and such. Uh, so I'm actually going to do a follow up on a question we got last week on about how, how they relate to each other. So this map here, which is a map of glaciers. Let's see if I can open it and we can zoom in. We can see some geometries and people wonder how how they appear there. And because they are coming not from Wikidata, but from OpenStreetMap actually. So we got some questions about how you would connect that. Um, um, and because you wouldn't do that in Wikidata itself, you would actually do that in, in OpenStreetMap. So I was thinking about showing that up, showing that off. Mm. So in OpenStreetMap, OpenStreetMap.org, uh, here we have a couple of glaciers, actually the same area as here. Uh, Sweden's oh, yes. highest point seems to be, or is here. Uh, so we could... Let's see, I need to zoom in to be able to edit. Um, so we can see here that we have two glaciers here, but there are a couple of water ones. Um, so we happen to have this two, uh, but not this one. Uh, and I think we should have that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. I'm gonna let it load. Zoom in far enough. See if I can uh, select the edge of it. are very big. Yes. Um, I'm gonna copy this name and you search for it in Wikidata. I think this should be the one. Just double checking uh, because right. there happens to be there happens to be several ones with the same name, but this is the one. So. I'm going to take this queue number, um, go back to OpenStreetMap, and add Wikidata. And a cool thing when you use this editor is actually that while we're ed editing, adding the Wikidata tag, it actually adds several more tags based on Wikidata, because Wikidata ah. is CC0. So it will automatically add more tags based on what's existing in Wikidata. In the same edit or in, in the, the same edit, in the oh, background. Nice. So, oh, um, cool. So, so if you. we have a very well modeled Wikidata item, item that will help OpenStreetMap when yeah. doing this. For All example, right. when you, when you add uh, a Wikidata item to a hamburger restaurant, for example, it would mm -hmm. also like add a brand that this is Burger King or this is McDonald's mm. and such. Um, so I'm but say... I guess we don't have that many hamburger restaurants with queue numbers on no Wikidata. There might be some. There might be some. And I'm going to upload this. And that's it. And then it will take, I think it's a couple of hours for it to be a part of, to be ingested into the media wiki infrastructure uh, it takes a ah, while yes yes so so yeah. now it's live on openstreetmap but the yeah. planet that wikimedia is using 
is uh, exactly. not exactly the same that is online there. Yes. So Wikimedia has a copy of OpenStreetMap, which is used, uh, but it's not updated instantly. So that's it. I remember yeah. we got questions about it. So yes, it was quite easy. So it's mostly it the finding mm. it in the both places, and then the actual exactly. edit is, if you're a Wikidata editor, it's yeah just um, writing Wikidata and the queue number. Yeah, exactly. So the barrier to adding these type of things are quite low, actually. Mm. Mm. So if someone want to get started with OpenStreetMap coming from the Wikimedia community, it isn't that tricky. Mm. Yes, nice. So that was... And then, of course, your map here will, in a couple of hours, also show this for everyone. Exactly. Um, so just to follow up from last week, that one. Um, Following maps, Jan and I was actually inspired. I remember I showed this uh, query last week. It's essentially the number of glaciers per country in Wikidata, mm -hmm. uh, not mm -hmm. representation of the real world. Um, and we were wondering, hey, we, we can have graphs in MetaWiki and in articles. Should we be able to take this graph here and put that in an article? and we played around with it a little, but we didn't get it to work. So I was poking around more just a little earlier today. And yeah. I didn't get it to work, but I almost got it to work. So I got to show up some <laughs> right. potential at least. OK. Um, so to show up what we got, I don't know if you have seen this icon. It tends to pop up in some article which are using graphs. Uh, generally, yeah, the there would thing. be an image yes. here. Yeah. I, I think you can see it blinking. That do not work. It seems to be broken for all Wikidata powered graphs at the moment. Uh, but if we would actually click this, it should be rendering a graph. Oh, so it's mostly the preview that doesn't work. Yeah, exactly. It's only the pre preview that's entirely broken. Um, so we actually get a graph based on that. I played around with trying to have it sorted, but I can't Oh, so that is the really live successful. Wikidata. So it's, yeah, so this it, is this is the, query. the Wikidata query actually. Um, nice. So you can add. I I just played around with this for ten minutes earlier today, but you can add interactivity to it and such. Um, uh huh. So how does that it, one look in the in the code? Exactly. I'm gonna actually show off how I created it to begin with. Ah oh, yes. Um, so if we would go back to to Wikidata, we have a lot of opportunities here for visualizing this one. Uh, we could mm -hmm. just use a bubble chart, for example, to see the countries. Uh, but we also have something called Graph Builder. And I'm going to select that one. I don't know if we have anyone watching who has used this before. It's. I don't think it's one of the common ones. So we see the, the data we queried, and we see some options. I was going to say that we want a bar chart. And then I'm going to start dragging in my options here. Like we have count and we have a label. And we actually oh. get, yes. get a graph like that. Um, and now I can click export. And I got a lot of information here. Um, uh -huh. yes. What we are actually looking for is this data part. Um, we can actually see here that it adds uh, Wikidata, SparkQL, Query, and a little more. Actually, something mm -hmm. I found out was that it has to delete this part. I'm going to look on Fabricator if I can fix it later. But mm -hmm. So you have to change it like that, replace query.wikidata.org with the third slash. Uh, and then we only want this yeah. data part. Yes. Do you think you can uh, zoom in once? A little, so it gets a little bit bigger text. Yes, that's a little bit yeah. better. Yes, thanks. So we had a data part there. I could put everything under that. Um, mm -hmm. Going to jump back into. Again, this is only edit source. Um, we have to live with it. And then here we have this map frame tag for the map. Um, but if we go under here, so I have, I have something called graph. So generally, when you use graphs on Wikipedia for maps and such, powered often by Wikimedia Commons or files there. Um, 
you would not use the graph tag itself. It would be some type of template uh, that tends to use them. I think there's have been a lot of discussion this week about using one for for showing the spread of the coronavirus. Mm, um, yes. So what I, what I would do here is just to replace everything within data. So now it's the same query, it wouldn't do any difference. But I just ah, yes. paste that in there. I had some options here, like how large I want it to be. I had to play around mm -hmm. a little bit with the padding to make things work. And very mm -hmm. importantly, I had to add this mode interactive because this otherwise it would only render this thumbnail, which doesn't work for Wikidata part queries at the moment. Mm. So that was actually it. So you can almost, I would say, build queries from from this editor built into the Wikidata query yes. service UI, which is very neat, or could become very very neat. Yes. So I I I suspect this is already filed as a bug in Fabricator. The preview doesn't show up. I haven't looked for that one specifically, but uh, I will later on. Yeah. No, I see. It seems like it's obvious if you start to play around and you see, oh, it's yeah. broken. Um, so all of the examples as well in the documentations are also broken. So I think it should uh, be reported. Just thinking from the top of my head right now, but yeah. the click that you're doing to get it to load could yeah. you do that with a user script? So as soon as you enter a page with a graph, you click the interactive, the play button. Yeah, you, you could do that, yes. Um, that would be it a, would be very much of it, a hack. Yes, a <laughs> hack workaround, but <laughs> yes. Mm. So All right. I think this has a lot of potential. Mm. It sure I think does. you can do a lot of advanced things here with this editor and with this syntax overall. Like, for example, sorting, if I would only sort it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sort out the sorting. Yes, that's... Yeah. It's very... Um high potential, I guess. Uh, and, and we see a lot of uh, people updating numbers about the coronavirus and the spread and the uh, causes it has on Wikidata. And of course it would be, if we could gen generate things like this, instead of also having to copy in them into bar charts hard-coded on Wikipedia, yeah. it would reduce the workload, and also make it much more reusable across language versions. Exactly. Because now you, you have to do it, it or, or everywhere. Possibly used to have a template that takes a queue number for for glaciers to have it generate a bar chart per country, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, so you could make it a very low barrier for editors who doesn't know Wikidata as well. Yeah. All right. Would Perfect. you like cool. to take over, Jan, for a second? Um, I can take over for a second. So <laughs> I think it has to turn the lamp here. Ah, <laughs> it's getting dark up in Sweden already. You know, I'm a little bit more south of you. All right. So let's stop sharing there while you go and get some lights. I'm going to try to share my screen here again. And we're going to walk back. So this is what I'm thinking about. Um, so here's the pandemic. This is the item for Sweden. So this one, yes. So here we have a number of deaths, and we have point in time. And it's quite easy to see that you could make a query to get these in a, a nice little bar graph as well. Yeah. And, uh, and and that would make the use case for the the bar charts and the well the graph editor in general and having that easy to transfer to a, a Wikidata client like Wikipedia. 
it would be super useful, I guess. Yeah, and this Which... this graph editor actually supports things like line graphs and other type mm. of charts as well. We should probably uh, ping the Wikidata project for COVID nineteen with this because I guess that is something they they might be interested in. And if we are a couple of people trying to figure out how to get it work, we are a bit more likely to succeed. Yeah. Maybe I and I can show that as well. I think it's just called Wikidata. Is it project or is it wiki project? Wiki project, I think, is that yes, wiki project, and then probably capital. Try this. No match was found. Ah. So, yes. So these we should probably and link to this part of the, the video so, so so they can actually see it. Yeah. Yep. All right. So I Great. think that might be, if you don't have anything more for now, I we might call it a day. Yeah. We could. And Yes, and then we might be back next week again, I guess. All right. Thanks, Alvin, for joining tonight, and thank you for everyone thank you watching. Bye-bye.